Hi, I am with Richard Applebaum, Director of the Master of Global and International Studies here at UCSB. How are you, Richard? Fine, thank you. Thank you. Richard, your program is so complete in many ways. What is the purpose of MAGIS? Uh, well, the Master's Program in Global and International Studies is now about to um, matriculate its fourth cohort of students. Um, the proposal was written five years ago. And the objective is to prepare students to work for non-governmental organizations, nonprofits internationally. We see this as the growing uh, sector of service in a world in which countries are having increasing difficulty dealing with problems. Most problems are transnational in nature, economic, cultural, social, political, environmental. So our program was created to occupy that space between the international framework of countries and the transnational framework of global forces, and to serve this third sector of non-governmental organizations. So it's a two-year master's program that prepares students to work for non-governmental organizations around the world. And part of its structure involves a six-month internship that all students do, ideally, which would be with an NGO somewhere in a developing country, Africa, Latin America, Asia. When was it founded, and who is sponsoring it? The program, uh, the proposal was written. I took the lead in writing the proposal mm -hmm. uh, about four years ago now. And it um, got a lot of traction because of the generosity of the Orfla Family Foundation, which made a large uh, gift uh, to endow the program mm -hmm. and which really made it possible. University of California uh, took notice, shall we say, um, when that happened. I'd been proposing something similar to this for a number of years, and thanks in large part to this part of the Chancellor, Henry Yang, who really championed this proposal. It was done fairly quickly, within about nine months' time. Congratulations. How many students? The program typically enrolls 15 to 20 students a year. We, in our initial proposal, wanted to keep it small, at least initially, till we got our feet on the ground. And also because beyond that, you really can't have a viable graduate seminar, half of whom are here on campus, and the other half are away typically for six months anyhow. They all come back together in the winter and spring when the interns uh, return. The internships run from June through December. I wanted to talk more about those internships and the change programs. How do they work? The idea behind the internships was that for students really to become skilled in the kind of work that's required for these international organizations, they needed field experience. Most internship programs involve a summer, 90-day wonder, three-month program, that's really not long enough for the intern to be attractive to the uh, organization because there's a learning curve, and the interns typically get saddled with routine work. We thought six months would be sufficient, so they really could get immersed in the organizations. So I've actually brought a list of, we've had probably a couple of dozen internships, I'll just mm -hmm. mention some. Uh, the American Jewish World Service, Armenian Development Agency, the Carter Center, uh, Clinton Global Initiative uh, with a program with the Orfla Foundation. We place students there also. Conservation International, Human Rights Watch, International Labor Rights Fund, uh, Global Exchange Harrington Investments, which is a socially responsible investment firm, Nelson Mandela Center for Peace and Conflict Resolution in India, Network for Africa, One Voice in Israel, a Viet Act, an organization which deals with immigrants, um, labor immigrants from Vietnam to Taiwan, many of whom wind up in servitude and slavery. So we've been extremely successful in placing our students in internships all over the world. Good. And can you share some of the subjects that you have on your program? Well, the first year, all of the students take the same courses. They all sort of bond as a cohort. Okay. So the curriculum has several parts. So one part are the substantive courses. They take three four-unit courses each quarter, total of nine courses, which deal, two courses deal with global economics. Courses deal with global culture, intercultural understanding, uh, global politics, global organizations. We have a course which is taught by, and global organizations, which has been taught by Thomas Tighe, the head of Direct Relief International. Mm -hmm. So we, and we often bring people in to staff these courses as well. So the first year is designed to give an understanding of how globalization operates at all levels. Plus students can take courses on a more practical level 
and then they go abroad for six months, and then they come back for two remaining quarters, and they take courses which deepen their both geographic interest and their career interest, and they have to write a thesis. Um, we also run a course pretty much for all the first year, which cycles in uh, people from the State Department, non governmental organizations. Our students have met with people as diverse as former ambassadors. They met uh, for a couple hours with Thomas Friedman. So our curriculum mixes up formal academic courses with a lot of practical exposure to the kinds of work we hope our students will be doing. Very good. Could you share with us your website so people can have access to more information? Our website is www.global dot ucsb dot edu backslash m-a-g-i-s magis well thank you very much this is such a complete program and i'm sure a lot of people will be interested in applying it's my pleasure uh, just one concluding word sure. our program immodestly sees itself as training the next generation of leaders who will solve some of the world's problems and there are many problems to be solved so we really see ourselves as champions of um of healing the planet in all of its various ways. Very Thank nice you way for this opportunity. Putting it. Thank you, Richard. For more information on the nonprofit spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv or call 963-3893. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.